Now we go to the ways of drawing structural formulas. So I just said that there are more than there is more than just one way of writing down structural formulas. So let's go over them quickly. So actually here I have four ways. So first we call this the straight line or uh, let's just use the Kekulé, the name Kekulé structure. So this is supposed to be the simplest. Why? For example, I have a compound with three carbons. I just write down all the three carbons and all the hydrogens bonded to them and each single bond or whatever bond it is it can be a double bond or triple bond for example let's just put a double bond here all of those are drawn by the way just as a advanced notice you should know that each carbon atom should have four bonds around it for example look at this carbon this one has four bonds this bond this bond this bond and this bond all right and uh, for example in this case we have already violated that I put a double bond let's count the number one two three four five one two three four five in that case probably we could remove one H for each carbon so you can see here that as long as carbon is not bonded to anything else most likely it's going to be bonded to hydrogen and if it's going to have a double or a triple bond you eliminate the H's and we will talk about that in detail later so for example I have this uh, compound this the name of this is propene and uh, let's try to draw propene in all types of structures now we go to the second let's have the condensed structure the difference between the Kekulé and the condensed structure is that in the condensed structure any single bond between two elements is not anymore drawn for example I draw propene since this is these are all sing single bonds all right. Since these are all single bonds, we can just write this as, for example, this C and three, this three H's. We can draw it simply like this, simple as that. And uh, since we have this here, C H, and then we have uh, this double bond. This is not counted for the condensed structure, so we must still draw this like that. And uh, to finish that up, C H two. That is the condensed. Uh, structural formula. This also applies to other atoms ex uh, I mean to atoms other than C and H for example I have acetic acid the condensed structure is supposed to be like this we have a double bond O so we should draw it like that and the rest are single bonds alright now the third would be the 3D structure here we we use three types of lines we have the simple line we have the dash and we have the wedge so it's all about the dimension so here the difference is there is a bond that's uh, projected to face you and there's a bond projected to face away from you and there are lines projected to be at the plane of the paper for example I draw I draw a, a simpler molecule for example, I just have this one carbon, then I put all the halogens here. Yeah. So as I said, there is a bond that's supposed to look like it's facing you, and that is the wedge. So if this was, if I'm going to interpret this C and uh, iodine bond, it would be like this. It's facing us. This C to F. If this is a paper, I'm going to lift it. It's facing away from you. It's facing away from us. So something like that. That's the meaning of the dash. And this line, it's as if this bond is in the plane of the paper. It's not facing you. It's not facing away from you. It's just at the plane of the paper. So we will use this 3D formula later on. Then finally, we have the skeletal formula. This is my personal favorite because I'm a lazy person. In the skeletal formula, any C to H bond will be implied, meaning it is not going to be drawn anymore. And we draw something like this. If I'm going to draw propene, it's going to look like this. Why? Each point here is a carbon. 
So since in this drawing we have three points, this will represent the three carbons in propane. And as I said, any carbon to hydrogen bond is implied, meaning it's not going to be drawn anymore like you draw like this with a single bond in the H, single bond H, not anymore. It is assumed that we already know that as long as the carbon is has no um, is not yet complete with the four bonds, the remaining bonds to complete it would be H. Alright? I already said that before.